Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Once again, it is time for my anime update. I know today is Labor Day. Hope you all had a happy Labor Day. I wanted to do this video like something a lot more special. I wanted to do it occasionally because I know the air, the weather's hot today though. So I'm hoping, yeah, because that's the reason why is basically midsummer day though so those are the DVDs of what I got I'll show you that I recently did in the previous DVD update video with the unboxing I have so I have our these two anime DVDs one that I got is from the book sale at a library and one is I got an order from Amazon that I have in the previous video as well in case you're wondering is that there's basically one Region 1 DVD, and this is the first time I got a Region 2 DVD in PAL format. PAL format for short as well. And yeah, despite though that it's basically, I ordered it all the way from United Kingdom, all the way to through customs to, to, Cal, to the U.S. here. And this is actually the first time I wanted to get this DVD. Yeah. I wanted to do that as well. Yeah. I wanted to basically how I come by for this as well. And I'll tell you more about the stuff I, what I did in the past as well. Okay. The first one here. Without any further ado, let's begin with this video. Which is right here right now. Here are the ones that the DVDs that I recently got that I had in the past for this update. I have is Beyblade Metal Fury. This is the only English dubbed anime DVD, but I don't know if there is in has a Japanese dub. Nope. I don't think it has because despite that this was released by I forgot what's the name of that company called again. Uh D Rights, yeah. I think that's the, the name of that company on DVD. Yeah. I never know about this as well. And despite that, this is actually an, this is an English dub over a Japanese anime made in conjunction with a Canadian studio, Nelvana. I noticed on the DVD as well. I think it's probably on the discs as well. So let's basically show you what the discs on there looks like as well. All right. This one covers up so 10 episodes on here. It's this one. It's in blue. Pretty interesting though as well. And disc 2 on the other hand that I was going to show you that I have here. Disc 2 which is in like olive green color or something. I'm not sure. Maybe any kind of that. Here's this 2. So this too basically only covers episodes 11 through 20. Wow, pretty interesting though. Yep, I was right because I think this has made in conjunction with Nelvana on the discs on here. I never knew it has it as well. And this is polished by the company Cynodyne as well. And another disc on here on Beyblade Metal Fury. This this is disc three, so I think this covers episodes 21 to episode 30. It's basically this one here, which I was showcasing the disc as well. Yeah, it's in red color as well. And finally, the di the final disc, which I think this covers the, the remaining episodes. And this is. Disc 4, which it has covering up the last episodes, which are episode 30 to 39. Pretty neat on there. It's in purple, though. Yeah, this is not presented in widescreen on there, and this is the only anime DVD disc on here, which it has Nelvana that recently worked with Rock and Rule for films like Rock and Rule back in the 80s on there. But I didn't know about this until now. 
Yeah, because Nelvan is a Canadian studio, though. For overall, for the anime DVD, I have, like, Beyblade Metal Fury. This is the first one I have right here. I never know about this one as well. Yeah. I was... When I first saw... When I first discovered this DVD there, I was originally, like, gonna buy the... the buy it on Amazon, but when I saw this on the shelf... I was surprised. It was surprisingly, though. Well, you get the point of how it is as well. This is particularly how what I wanted to come by on buying a DVD like this as well. In case you're wondering. But and at first I thought this was some BCD, but no, it was or some Blu-ray, but it's actually a DVD though. Despite that, my PS4 has playing both DVDs and Blu-rays. Yeah. This is the the reason thing as well. And for because I wanted to get the DVD though. I wanted to realize that as well. And you get the point though is that. And the last DVD that I have here and no, this is not Region 1. It is not the U.S. DVD release. No, this is import, an Italian import on here. And this is none other than Rocky Joe. This is the DVD on here, Box 1. There's only two discs on this DVD on here. And there's only, like, how much did I... Yeah, I paid for this, like, $9 on Amazon plus $5 shipping on there, which totals up to $15 on my Amazon account. Because I wanted... Because I went through, like, rage purchasing when I got this DVD on there. Which I didn't know it has this as well. And... This is in Region 2 on there. And... This is re released by the company Yamato Video. Yes, this is actually the Italian DVD that I just bought on there. Which I didn't know it has this. There's only two... This is actually the 2005 Yamato video release on there. I mean, well, if this kind of looks like... If this is basically... This is how I wanted to come by on buying Italian imports of anime on DVD from Yamato video... Yeah, because there's a, there's a whole bunch of them on there. And they're just so gloriously perfect to have it in your anime collection. Which I think that'll help you build your anime collection, doesn't it? Yeah. There's only ten episodes. Two discs on there. But, yeah, there's only like five episodes on disc 1 and disc 2. So I think this totals up to like 10 episodes on there. Yeah, this is the Italian import on there cuz I think this is the it, the Italian title for the anime uh, Ashida no Joe. That's what this anime Rocky Joe is known in Japan as Ashida no Joe on there. The language tracks on there, they're only in it has the Japanese language track on here, which I think displays the original Japanese theme to Ashita no Jo anime. And this also has the infamous Italian language track on there, because I think this plays the song Rocky Joe by Oliver Onions, aka Guido and Maurizio DeAngelis, that are recently worked on these songs for Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movies like. Watch out, we're mad. Um, Probably, and they also did Orzo Way, and also they also worked on Sandokan, and they also did the anime theme songs in Italian for other anime like Doraemon, um, Marco Polo, anime at, on there, 
And they also did the Italian theme for the anime Galaxy Express 39 on for the Italian dub of the original anime. And they also are composers that worked for songs like Black Inferno from the movie Raiders of Atlantis and the Spanish theme for Juan Juan Sanjushi anime, also known as Dogitanian and the three musket hounds on there. Yeah. Anyways, that's the DVD, the DVD I have here. But not only that, this also has some of these extras on the DVD. On the subtitles are only in Italian, and it says "Film per tutti," which is basically what it, it, it says on the back of the DVD. Case you notice. Oh, and then it has a little holographic sticker like this. That's what you expect seeing it on a Italian imports of Yamato video releases of anime on there. Yeah. This has some interactive menus. And this has the episode selection on there. And there's some of the extras, including character pro o files. And this also has the Italian opening for. Um, the anime Ashita no Joe, which is known in Italy as Rocky Joe. Because I think this basically was show or was originally aired on the Italian channel called Rete 4. In Italy on there. And this also has the previews for other anime titles released by Yamato Video on there. And this also includes a promo for Yamato Shop, which is an, an anime store in M Milan, Italy, which is in the Milano district in Italy on there. Surprisingly, this DVD has a reversible cover, and it's in a see-through case, just like those discotheque media releases of anime I have are on DVD and Blu-ray. So, yeah. Here's the disc. It's red. Unlike the ones here in the U.S., these are, this is the Italian import on here. Yeah. And basically, has the the information in Italian on there. There, which I didn't know it has this. And this basic, according to this on here. I never knew it has the... It's in a reversible cover, especially for an Italian import on an anime like this on DVD. Yep, it's in PAL format, by the way. I tested this DVD on my portable DVD player, and it does play PAL format, because despite that this DVD is in Region 2, because I had to buy this on Amazon as well, I never knew that this is how I wanted to come by on Discovery of how I can buy these kinds of Region 2 DVDs. Oh, by the way, because I think this DVD, I ordered this on Amazon, I think that came all the way from uh, Europe, uh, The like, especially somebody... Have had it in London, England there, and sold it on there. And this DVD had got my tracking shipping with the Royal Mail on my Amazon. But anyways, th yeah, this DVD had a came. I ordered it. This I think this came all the way from the United King from England, United Kingdom, which is in Europe, and now it came here to Cal in the U.S. Pretty nice DVD. I mean, you notice the spine on the DVD? It says YV, which means Yamato Video for short on there. Yep. And this says Yamato Video on the front on, on the cover there. Because Yamato Video is my favorite next to Discotech Media because Yamato Video has like these other anime titles from the 70s, 80s, and 90s on there as well. Because there's another anime I want to get called UFO Robot 
Grendizer. In, in Italy, it's called UFO Robot Goldrake or Atlas UFO Robot. And they also have the Italian imp edition of the anime Mazinger Z on both DVD and Blu-ray that Yamato Video released. Same with Great Mazinger and Machine Hayabusa, but it's called Falco Il Super Bully Day on there. And Sampe Il Pescatore. Il Ragazzo Pescatore, and also Yamato Video released Fist of the North Star on DVD because it's known in Italy as Ken Il Guerriero, translated it Ken the Warrior, and the Yamato Video also re released the Yurisei Yatsura TV series and the movies because it's known as Lamu La Ragazza dello Spazio or Lum, the Girl of Space, which is translated it, or Lum, the Space Girl, which is translated it in Italian for um, the Italian dub for the anime Yurisei Yatsura, when the anime Yurisei Yatsura was first broadcasted in Italy in 1983, because there was a, Italy had the biggest majority for anime when they were, when anime was first broadcasted outside of Japan, when they were first brought over to air in Italy on there. And not only that, Yamato Video also has the Devil Man complete series on DVD because the the version I have on DVD was from Discotype Media, but this exists the Italian edition, but it has the Ita the Devil Man Italian theme song on there, which I think it's much more darker than the Japanese Devil Man theme song because despite that the the Italian theme song is m way darker because the Italian Devil Man theme song was written by. Ricardo Zara, who is famously known with, with the Knights of the King, also translated it "I Cavalieri del Re," which is how I could pronounce it in Italian. Those are the mu that's the music group that did the Italian theme songs for anime on there, and there's also other anime like "Hello Spank." That's another '80s anime. I think it's only available on DVD by Yamato Video. I mean, if I could get that DVD pretty soon, and, and along with other anime titles from Yamato Video, because those are the Italian DVD releases. They're more different than Japanese DVD releases of anime, which they're mainly in Japanese, but no subtitles on here as well. But... You cannot find Yamato video DVD releases here, but in the U.S. in the U.S. But you can just get them in Italy, especially when you're going to the shop called Yamato Shop, which is in it, M Milan, Italy. Which I think it's in the Milano district in Italy, though. Well, I'm glad I finally got my first Italian import of. Anime, the anime Ashita no Joe on DVD because it's in, known in Italy as Rocky Joe. And not only that, there's also manga books that are also translated in Italian that you can find those at like Yamato Shop, which is in Milan, Italy. There's also anime figures from SH Fig Arts and Ben Presto, Kotobukiya. And there's also Gunpla. Like, if you want to get a Gundam model kit, these Gunpla ones on there. Especially if you've ever been to Yamato Shop, because I highly recommend you to check out Yamato Shop, because it's in Italy. And you have to pay it for, when you want, if you want to buy it, you have to pay it with Euros, because Euros is more different than US dollars as well. Aside from the US dollars or Japanese yen money, Euros are more common in Italy, as well as other parts of Europe, including Spain also. Because Euros is the, the, is the European money currency, especially if you ever want to buy an anime on DVD or Blu-ray or a manga translated in Italian at Yamato Shop. That's why. Because I'm very blessed that I got my first 
Italian import of an anime on DVD from Yamato no Video. Aside from, even though I've, ever since I have gotten some anime on, v, on the Japanese DVD release that is only in Japanese but no subtitles, Italian DVD releases of anime released by Yamato Video also takes the cake, also. And there's also D DMYIT, another defunct home video publisher for in Italy that also distributed anime on there. There's another anime I want to get called Grand Prix Il Campionissimo, which is translate the Italian title for the anime Arrow Emblem Grand Prix on DVD because I think it's the Italian edition on DVD because yeah it's very commonly thing as well this is so very legally questioned as well when I got this DVD it is not under region 1 <laughs> it's in PAL format region 2 if only if this was like my yeah, most common as well. It's in Dolby Digital Audio, though. And it's only in Region 2 on there. Especially as well. Yeah. Rocky Joe, also known as Ashita no Joe in Italy. The, the the title for the original Japanese anime. Yamato Video is going to release it on Blu-ray in conjunction with Eagle Pictures, which is the Italian film distributors. Also made in conjunction with Yamato Video, which is also in Italy as well. Because there's a biggest majority of anime have a popularity in Italy back in like the 70s or 80s. Just before anime's popularity in the U.S. came in the 90s, during the VHS and the Laserdisc days. Because I have a huge history of what I discovered. Especially that you have never seen before, maybe on Facebook as well. Hell, I have discovered some anime on there. Like, some of them, those Facebook pages that say, like... Cartoony animati, Japanese anime Facebook pages, or the DVD collezione cartoony animati, Japanese anime on the on those Facebook marketplaces. But you had to pay it for, with euros if you ever been in Italy. That's why of how I wanted to come across for this, just to. Learn the fact over wise, that's why, as well. Because I know what you're thinking, like, I see that you got this one DVD in the U.S. and you got an Italian import. I mean, what about the Japanese DVD release? Have you ever gotten any of those, or you just got the J Italian import? Oh, I do got them. Because I have a good chunk of the Region 1 DVDs on, and Blu-ray of anime. Too many recent ones, but I do got my Italian import as well. So that's going to be it for my video for today's anime update for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this video. Well, because I know today's Labor Day, I wanted to do a video like this for my anime update, because I got these two new DVDs on here. This one I have for the 2011 category in movies and anime. And also, 1970 category genres in movies and anime also. Despite that, the anime Ashida no Joe, or also known as Rocky Joe in Italy, because it's the, the, the title for the original Japanese anime series Ashida no Joe, came out in 1970. This makes sense that I finally got the newest discovery for it to be added in 1970 in the genre category of movies and anime on my, I guess, basically my, the new videos that I have planned 
for the Physical Media Video Library series, which I had the feeling that's why, and also a TV series, because I have five seasons of The Brady Bunch, which I can get it covered as well. Which, uh, that'll be confirmed for the new videos on the Physical Media Video Library series. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. Share this video on your Twitter, Facebook. If you have Twitter and Facebook account on all the social media, if you want to check out my anime planet, the link will be in the description down below. If you want to check out my anime planet, it, because I have a huge backlog of manga and anime on my anime planet account, if you want to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description down below. And you have to be a grown up to follow on Patreon as well. And also, if you want to check out my. Uh, in the comments, let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below on this video if you like also as well. Just let me know as well. And also, be sure to smack the like button if you enjoy this video. Be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuroniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates from here as well, and keep it otaku for this anime update on here, because I have these two new DVDs of anime, because th that could help me fill up my anime collection. I mean, that could help you s build a lot of more anime in my anime collection, that's why. This is Ruroni K95. I'm saying thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is RuroniK95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos. And I hope you have a happy Labor Day. Take care. Bye.